In example one, if we're being asked for the area, we have to be careful about what part is above and what part is below. So to do that, we need to first of all make sure we know the bounds. So I factored the, the polynomial. So I end up with x, x plus 3, x minus 3. So it gives me zeros at negative 3, 0, and 3. And once I've done that, I have to notice that from negative 3 to 0, the area is below. So when I do the integral from negative 3 to 0, notice the blue negative there. That area would be negative, so I need to that extra negative to make that area positive, to sign it into a positive value. And then for the green area from 0 to 3, that's already positive, so I don't need to change the sign. So once I've established the bounds and which parts are above and which parts are below, I just need to integrate this. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate this. So I end up with this is equal to negative. The integral of this will be 9x squared over 2 minus x to the power of 4 over 2. And the bounds are going to be from negative 3 to 0 plus the area in green here is the same integral 9x squared over 2 minus x4 four over 4. But this bound is going to be from 0 to positive 3. So once I've established that, I'm going to just plug in my bounds, making sure I keep track of my negatives. So plugging in the 0, I get 0, minus plugging in the negative 3. Again, I'm going to make sure I keep track of those negatives with a bracket. So negative 3 squared is positive 9 times 9 is 81. x to the power of 4, so negative 3 to the power of 4 is going to give me positive 81 over, this should be 4. Negative 81 over 4. Plus. Same thing here, I'm going to plug in my bounds, 3 squared is 9, 81 over 2, minus 81 over 4, I'm going to then plug in my 0, so I get minus 0. So working this out, 81 over 2 minus 81 over 4 is a positive 81 over 4. The two negatives make that 81 positive 81 over 4. Here we're going to get plus 81 over 4. Adding those together, we get 81 over 2. And that works out to be 40.5 units squared. So that area that's above and below, if I count that area below as positive area, we get 40.5 units squared of area. For example, two, if we're asked for the area, we need to do the same thing. We need to recognize what parts are above and below. We need to know the bounds, so we need to find the zeros. So in factored form, I get x squared times x minus two. So I have zeros at zero and two. And then my integration is going to be from 0 to 3. So from 0 to 2, it's below. So my integral, I need to sign opposite to make it positive from 0 to 2 in red. And in green, from 2 to 3, it's going to be already positive. So I can just keep that as is. So once I've established my bounds and my, the, the positive and negative versions of those, I'm going to go ahead and integrate those. So the integral is going to be x to the power of 4 over 4 minus 2x cubed over 3. That integral has bounds from 0 to 2 plus the integral in green here is going to be the same x to the power of 4 over 4 
minus 2x cubed over 3. And the bounds here are going to be from 2 to 3. So at this point, I'm going to make sure I'm keeping track of my negatives, being organized with that, and just plugging in my bounds. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16 over 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 2 is 16 over 3. Plug in my 0, I get minus 0 plus. Plugging in my 3, I get 81 over 4 minus 3 to the power of 3 is 27 times 2 is 54 over 3 minus plugging in my 2 I get 16 over 4 minus 2 to the power of 3 times 2 is 16 over 3. Okay and again it's important to keep track of your signs so be very organized with your keeping track of your signs here. So I'm going to end up with negative. This works out to be 48 minus 64 all over 12 plus this is going to work out to be 243 minus 4 times 54 is 216 all over 12 minus, I'll put that in brackets, this is going to work out to be the same as the other one, 48 minus 64 all over 12. So working out negative, negative of negative 16 over 12. Okay, so that's going to be positive 16 over 12 plus 243 minus 216 is 200 minus 200. 43 minus 16 works out to be 27 over 12 minus, this works out to be negative 16 over 12. Okay, so keeping track of those signs. I end up with 16 over 12 plus 27 over 12 plus 16 over 12. Summing that all up, that's going to work out to be 59 over 12 units squared. Okay, so when I work out the actual area and not the displacement, I'm going to that total area above and below adds up to 59 over 12 units squared.